Hey everyone, Nick here, and for those of you that are interested in gene therapy, there is some new evidence that has heads turning. There's this pretty controversial gene editing tool called CRISPR that basically allows us to edit the human genome, and without question, it's faced some serious backlash on account of a lot of people calling it unethical. However, the scientific benefits are clear, and many researchers have used it to examine a gene called OCT4, which is responsible for early cell division, development, the creation of organs, and such. Nonetheless, it's been pretty limited as far as experimentation with the gene, because it takes a lot of legal authorization to go into real-world experiments, but the UK has just signed off on the first in-depth real-world experiment, and that leads me to ask you. Are the times of unrestricted and revolutionary gene therapy finally upon us? Let's find out. The plan is to observe healthy embryos as they evolve from an egg into a blastocyst. And for those of you that don't know, a blastocyst is essentially the holy grail of gene therapy. It's a combination of 256 cells, and from this very limited quantity comes every tissue, organ, and other cell that comprises you. With insights into this as well as the OCT4 gene, the possibilities are endless. Now don't get too excited because it's not like you'll be able to walk into a clinic and be able to turn on or off your OCT4 gene. Instead, the implications are a tad more practical for things like infertility or other cell-based or transmitted illnesses. All right, so now let's talk about CRISPR. It's part of a larger bacterial immune system that's really good at analyzing and archiving small pieces of DNA. Think of it this way, you'll feed something into the CRISPR microbe, it'll chop it up and save those individual DNA segments for later. Now that you have a huge database of single genes, you can save them for later, read them whenever they're faulty, modify ones that are broken, repair them, and so on. Now imagine if something like this was a commercial reality. Everyone would be enhanced. Any talent, desire, or goal you wish to have would eventually become a reality because of small genetic changes that could tailor you into the perfect being. On a broad sense, it sounds pretty incredible, but if you really think about it, it's ridiculously frightening. Okay, now obviously the elephant in the room is whether or not this is the right thing to do. On one hand, we have a group of people that say we're playing a role we're not supposed to and genetic modification is off limits. And on the other extreme, we have people that say what can be achieved for science will be. Now, thankfully, we have to be somewhere in the middle and I think the UK is very good about that by placing some hard ethical backstops. But it's also important to recognize the potential of such technology. Currently, it's illegal to implant these embryos into women, and most of them are going to be destroyed after the experiment is over, though that's another ethical issue in and of itself. As you can see, there's no perfect solution, but I think we should give it some time and see where the research takes us. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.